There's a lot to like about this game, but my favorite part is the boombox robot. That's an end boss made of subwoofers. I'll take care of this loser. You've made Boombox Robot angry. Now you pay. How can someone with such a big smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? You look just like I thought you would. You look really cool. Yeah, Nier is kind of out there on its own, but in many ways this is like the Long Island iced tea of video games. You take a whole bunch of different things that shouldn't go together, mix them together, and it makes something really cool. Except Nier won't cause you to forget things. In fact, if anything, you'll remember an amazing story. Because in addition to Boombox Robot, that's the best part of Nier. The storyline and how they present it. Mixed together with gameplay styles reminiscent of the Legend of Zelda Resident Evil Monster Hunter Japanese spaceship shooters and Space Guard 2. Seriously, it's a Long Island iced tea. It's just not refreshing. It is good though. As of this recording, this is the frontrunner for the 2010 Classic Game Room Game of the Year Award. And typically, I don't even like these overly stylized, we're wearing lingerie and eye patches, fantasy, la 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 adventure RPG games. That's, that's my technical term, I think you know what I mean. Kingdoms that you can't pronounce and princesses you don't care about. That's not this game. You're hooked within 30 seconds of playing and it doesn't let you go until the end. In fact, you really won't even figure out what's going on for about 15 hours. It's a big game, with a very cool story that's told in a clever way. Because when you start the game, you meet the characters, and then it jumps ahead about a thousand years, and the world's all screwed up, it's like the time machine, or the alternate ending to Army of Darkness. Your daughter's sick, you have to find the sealed verses, you have a friend who's a talking My book. My name is Grimoire Vice, huh? and it is not to be abbreviated. Vice! Vice! Good to see you, Kaine. Although I don't think anyone has ever accused me of being a little bitch before. It's immediately interesting, the ride that the game takes you on is fun, and the gameplay backs it up because it's good. Looks like you've learned how to swing that thing. It's your basic hack and slash adventure game style of gameplay. You can definitely use some button mashing for the physical attacks, but you also have magic. The visual style in Nier is very, very cool. I like it a lot. I wasn't sure what to make of it from the promo materials that I saw before the game's release, but it works really well when you get into it and fight the shades, which are those things that are like half there, half, uh, well, not there. I don't want to give away too much of the storyline for those of you who want to play the game. You embark on an adventure initially to find the sealed verses to save your daughter and, uh, well, it gets interesting from there. Kaine's outfit is hysterical and the fact that your book friend makes fun of her the entire game, calling her a hussy, is even better. Like most RPG adventure style games, there's numerous side missions, but for the most part I concentrated on the main story, which I found far more interesting. And like the Monster Hunter games, you can run around and slaughter animals and collect things and use some of that to upgrade your weapons and sell for money. There's a lot to keep you busy in here, a lot of weapons and a lot of upgrading that you can do to them with raw materials and words, which you'll want to take advantage of upgrading your weapons because you'll start fighting harder and harder and harder enemies as you play the game. And as you've probably noticed watching the visuals, the gameplay style changes quite a bit. It even has some text adventure, like Oregon Trail with swords and magic. That would have been a more efficient way to get to Oregon. 
The game's not perfect though, sometimes it may seem like it's a little bit larger than it actually is. The environments are very compartmentalized, which breaks up the epic fantasy adventure feel at times. The music could definitely use more variety. Fortunately, at least on the 360 version, you can swap it out for your own music, because Ministry fits the game a lot better. Any complaints that I have are very minor, because in general, this is a very enjoyable RPG adventure style game, because it's far more approachable than it looks on screen. There's not 30 different plots to worry about, it's really just one plot, your guys' story, the interesting stories of uh, the characters that you meet, but that's about it, there's not 12 different kingdoms warring over something. This thing is alive. And that's the game, a tough one to squeeze into seven minutes. Near is really cool. <laughs> Terrific story, excellent gameplay, lots of fun. It's extremely well made and interesting. You can also name your character Space Gar. What's not to like about that? Speak the truth, hussy! Book? Shut up. Yeah, cram it, Vice. 